The Rainbow Six Siege by far has one of the most diverse range of operators in gaming, but a lot of these unique operators' faces are actually covered by helmets, masks, and other pieces of equipment. So I thought it'd be pretty fun to go through and look at every operator who originally had their face hidden, but has now since been revealed. So the first one we're going to be talking about is Smoke, and Smoke actually got his face revealed earlier this year during the Sisters in Arms cinematic trailer. And now in the current Brutal Swarm Battle Pass, Smoke actually has a bundle which has his face revealed as the headgear, and I think it is a really cool set. Now this actually might be a bit of a surprise for some people, but Vigil's face isn't entirely hidden. Of course, in his default player card, you can see the outline of his face, but it is very darkened out and you don't really get to see many features. But in the Operation Neon Dawn trailer, we actually get to see Vigil's full face. Now, of course, this is just a 2D animated look at his face, and we don't know what his head looks like fully as a 3D model, but we can get a pretty good idea from this. But did you know that pre-launch, Vigil was actually advertised with an image which did show a lot more of his face? I can never find a good high quality picture of this, but I do remember this because this was around the same time I joined the game as well. So although Vigil's face isn't entirely hidden, they've never gave us a proper in-game look at it. So I won't be surprised if we do get a Masco's headgear sometime in the near future, and I'm actually really surprised that they have held off on doing that for so long, since his face isn't really that much of a secret. And next we actually have Fuse, and now this is one of the headgears from one of the earliest battle passes if I'm not wrong, and although he's wearing a hat, it shows his full face. And this was a good few years ago, so I'm honestly really surprised that they have not released another headgear which shows his face. As far as I'm aware, this is the only headgear he has which has his face revealed in it. So yeah, it's really interesting that they actually made a sculpt for his face and only ever used it once. So once again, don't be surprised if we get another maskless headgear for Fuse in the future. Next up we have Ace, and despite launching with admittedly a lot of his face revealed, there was still some form of covering. But of course, since then his full face has been revealed, such as in his Elite skin and his Battle Pass skin. Next up we have Nook. Now of course, Nook being a very mysterious and sneaky character, do actually get some glimpses at her face. First and foremost, in the most recent Brutal Swarm trailer, we get a glimpse at her mouth and the bottom of her face. Did you know back when she launched there was actually some concept art of her which actually did show a lot of her face. So although being concept art it's pretty safe to say that we know what Nook's face looks like. Next up we have Mozzie. Of course he originally launched with a motorcycle helmet and a pair of aviators covering his face. But since then his face is no mystery. It has appeared in many skins such as his elite skin. We've seen it in some battle pass skins. So Mozzie's face is not an uncommon sight anymore. Lion is once again another operator who launched with heavy gear covering his face. We can only really see his eyes. But since then his his face has been revealed in his Elite skin, in his Battle Pass skins, and of course once again in CGI trailers. Now Capcan actually does have a face reveal, and the only way I can find this is for the concept art for Finca, showing her backstory, and how Capcan was actually the one who gave her her scar. So although it is still kind of hidden, we do get a rough idea of what his face would look like. Next up we have Echo, and although his face wasn't massively hidden, a mask did cover up the bottom half of his face. The two most recent Yakuza skins for him actually show us his full face. Granted, his facial hair and hair is styled to look like the Yakuza cat characters, but at the end of the day, it's still his face there, just styled differently to look like those characters. Next up we have Frost, once again it was an Elite Skin face reveal, and she also got a really cool Battle Pass headgear, which I actually think is better than her Elite headgear. Next up we have Sledge, and despite having his face hidden for many years, his face is a pretty common occurrence now. There's many Battle Pass headgears which has his face included in it, we also get to see his face in some of the CGI cutscenes, and the brand new Rainbow Six Mobile game which is coming out in the near future, actually has his face as his default skin, which is pretty cool. Next up we have Thatcher, his face is included in his elite skin, he has some other headgears as well which has his face, and of course he was once again shown off in the cinematic trailers. Which is once again another operator who had her face revealed in her elite skin, and has since had headgears which show her face as well. Next up we have Doc, as far as I'm aware his face was revealed in the Outbreak cinematic cutscene in Operation Chimera, he then since had his face shown off in his elite skin, he's had headgears which have his face as well, his current day skin seem to only be with his face and not with his default gear. Next up we have Rook, and as far as I'm aware the only skin he has his face revealed in is his elite skin, and it makes me realise how little we actually know about Rook. Next up we have Bandit, and as far as I'm aware his face was originally shown off in one of the old trailers back at launch, but we didn't get a proper reveal of it until his Elite skin, and there's a few other skins which have his face revealed in it as well. Next up we have IQ, once again far as I'm aware she got her face revealed during her Elite skin, and she has a few other skins which includes her face as well. Next up we have Blitz, and his face was originally revealed in his Elite skin, and he has a really cool Battle Pass headgear as well. Second to last we have Glaz, once again it was an Elite skin face reveal, but weirdly since then they have never gave him another face reveal headgear and honestly I don't think Glass has had any good skins in a long time. Come on Yubi, give Glass some good skins. Now the last one here I have is Tachanka and I will admit this isn't his whole face but I would like to put this as an honourable mention. Back in the Outbreak trailer in Operation Chimera we did get a better look at what Tachanka's face roughly looks like although he does still have a snood covering his face. Maybe one day we'll get that glorious reveal. Anyway guys let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Did I miss anything? Did I miss any other headgears? Be sure to let me know. Have a great
great day guys, I'll catch you all later, peace.